My name is Toby Ashende. Uh, welcome back to our podcast. Um, today we're going to be discussing about Instagram. And I'm here with um, Kafayat, who was uh, who attended our call sometimes last year, and also worked here briefly and now she's now running her own Instagram uh, platform and so I'll just let her do a bit of introduction of herself. My name is Oshini Kafayat. I'm a social media expert. Um, I run a page on Instagram called Service Vendors which I started earlier this year. I was, um, I was here sometimes June, July last year because I wanted to know more about digital marketing. All right, so I mean, like what I tell a lot of people is that there's so many businesses in Nigeria, and they're looking for people that can help them to promote their business. And I think you're solving, uh, you're solving that problem for quite a lot of businesses. You'll be surprised the amount of people that you are getting on Instagram that have been struggling about their business until they discovered you. All right, so I think um, based on your experience so far with um, with Instagram, what um, what would you say in terms of how do businesses actually try to get more engagement and more interaction on their Instagram profiles? Because I know it's quite, it's quite, um, it's getting a bit difficult. I mean, about a year ago, it was much easier to get engagement and all of a sudden, um, all the change in algorithm by Instagram and the rest of it has done a bit of adjustment. But what I see when I go to your page, um, service vendor, is that I see a lot of engagement. I see about 200 comments and you don't even have a lot of followers like that. So how, how are you able to do it? You know, so yeah. Okay, so I think the basic thing when it comes to social media generally, not even only Instagram alone is, if you're pushing out good content that educates people, you definitely get people to respond to you because usually there's this general notion that people don't read caption but the truth is if you're pushing out a content that, that is going to educate your audience they will definitely listen to you so one thing i always tell uh, my audience is try as much as possible to educate them you're selling a product people don't know about your product so don't come through the approach of selling to people rather educate them on the reason why they should use your product and trust me things that you're going to see your your audience will start responding to you another thing is them carrying their audience along which a lot of people don't they don't do you just believe that okay this is what you like and then you push it out but it's I, not I about what you like I think we're guilty about that as yeah well. so it's not about what you like it's rather about what your audience wants to hear so I was so basically what I do is I try to push out what I know they want to hear to them and I feel that's the reason why your engagement is is like that so I do more of educating rather than selling I never advertise I render this particular service. I'll do more of writing and then beneath it, I just put something like, okay, I could actually help you with this service. And, you know, I see people flowing into my DM, my WhatsApp, asking me, okay, they want to do this, but I never would tell them that I'm doing this service. Interesting. So, okay, so there are two things that I kind of picked from what you said right now. So the first one is that, are you saying that the caption, the first two lines or the first line that shows is very, very important to captivate people to want to read more about what you have to present, right? Exactly and then the my second point. thing also is that you mentioned the fact that um, a lot of people get interested in um, what they call it, in what you do because you you tend to post things that they want to hear. So did you, did you do any survey prior to that or you just paid attention to the kind of comments people were making on your page well, how did you know how do you figure out exactly what your audience wanted to hear and then how did you so what did you yeah how did you figure it out before you were able to present that to, because for us i mean i think we we we, we share and i think that's sort of an angle that we might probably not be doing very well it's probably trying to understand exactly what our audience won't and it's surprisingly because that's what we taught you so i think we need to go back to our drawing board <laughs> and try to figure that out you hear what i say yeah. so but but can you just tell can you just explain like what did you do to okay so um basically when i got on instagram i realized that a lot of um business people were doing they're doing a lot of things wrongly okay. which i have from the fact that most of them don't know how to express themselves in writing which is understandable of course, maybe the only reason why I find it easy is because I'm trying to, or I find myself in the content 
content arena and of course i am begin i'm getting to like it you understand which they are not in so of course i realized that the first problem they have is they have issues with writing content and that's because most of them are making it too hard on themselves right now it's about you being social you don't even have to go through through the route of selling when i advertise people's product i never tell people i'm selling i'm more playful in fact i play around most of my most of my content even the ones that are even very educative among them i don't even take it very seriously it's more of me playing i can come out in front of okay you guys seriously like so you're, you're being real exactly being I, real. yeah i come out like being real to them so i feel that's like one of the things that actually get their attention which is why i always tell my audience don't come through the root of all you're because you're selling something you now go all professional and all that make your audience feel comfortable around you which is what I try to make my audience feel. I make them feel comfortable around me. So I was able to discover that is, I just noticed these people were doing a lot of things that were wrong. And then of course, I just, you know, I started pushing out content. It wasn't as if in the beginning, it was easy. So which I always tell people is don't, don't quit. Keep pushing out the content engagement. I started my engagement right from the very first week which I started. I started my page on a Tuesday. I did my first engagement post on a Friday because I realized people like to talk about themselves. I didn't make it about me. So I pushed it to them. Like, okay, you talk about yourself. I want to know what you do. And you know, that was where the whole thing started from. Wow. So once you're able to make things about them rather than about you, people will begin to open up. So I think that was just the, the route I went through. All right. So there's quite a lot of, there's quite a lot of lesson in what you just, what you just said right now. So uh, first of all, not making it about the brand itself yeah, exactly. also trying to give the audience some yeah. of voice making it about uh, them yeah, and then i guess what you also did or uh, from what i what i what, what you said also is that you you looked at what was valuable to them you discovered that a lot of businesses were doing something wrong and then you gave that more value to them exactly. and one thing i really loved also was the fact about being real and not being too especially for small businesses growing businesses i know that there is a need to want to make everything professional. Yeah, but sometimes exactly. when you go natural, you, you sell quite a lot. Exactly. But I have two examples actually from people that have attended our course. Um, there's a lady recently, she took a very natural video with her phone, showing people the sh her shoe that she's selling in her store. And she posted it on social media and on Facebook. And she was able to get about 20 sales within about two to three days. You get what? Yeah. And this is something worth about 15,000 naira or whatever, which is about that. That comes about 300k there about. And just not doing anything but just taking natural pictures, pictures and everything like that. I also had um, somebody that also attended training some time ago where um, she he he he, he does um, wallpaper okay. and he's been using like stock pictures of wallpaper. So one day he decided to record mm, to his workers real thing. trying to do the wallpaper. And then he ran an advert with it yeah. and he got a job of about 3.5 million order of uh, of wallpaper just by doing just by being a bit natural. And I think it's quite important for people to try to be unedited and exactly be, showing their back try, end trying to be a bit natural and and then what they call it and showing their back end so that's that's quite that's quite interesting so in terms of um growing instagram followers right i mean i know there's quite a lot of techniques or a lot of different ways but why a lot of businesses get it wrong is that they, they grow the wrong set of followers and then those followers don't even come, don't even stand a chance of converting. So if you if you grow followers of people that cannot afford your business one, exactly. or you grow followers of people that don't even have interest in your whatever. Before we even go about how do we convert these followers into um, actual sales? But how do we grow? How do you how do we grow um, really really effective followership? Okay, so when it comes to building the right added audience on your page as a business owner what i always tell my clients is not everybody is your audience that's the first thing True. which of course is what i learned from here that it's not everybody that is your audience you might be renting a particular kind of service that not everybody can afford it so if you're getting your target audience from the wrong place then you're going to be selling to the wrong people and then you realize you're not making sales there are some certain pages on instagram that let me put them um, let me say blog pages whereby the people who are engaging there are maybe mothers for instance you sell you sell children clothes you sell children shoes and the likes of them if you're just starting up on instagram the only place the best place for you to engage is 
this bloggers page where mothers just go there to actually learn on how to you know get through motherhood and the likes of them but if you're selling something relating to mothers and you're going somewhere like a page whereby strictly business owners are there learning stuff then you might be targeting the wrong audience i'm not saying mothers will not be there but their mind is not targeted towards the kind of thing that you, that that you, you will that be selling to exactly to unlike if you go meet them where they where they play where they where they are social because somebody um places like wives and mothers on instagram is where you see a lot of a lot of mothers engaging there that kind of place if you're selling children clothes and you go to engage in those kind of places you you mingle with them over time you see them start flocking to your page because your business name is going to actually sell you that you just need to go comment there and, and you know just engage there okay. which is what a lot of people don't do again you just feel like oh it's just about posting it's not only about posting if you post and you don't engage with people it's more or less like you're just um you display a market you're not marketing you understand so of course even after your posting you still need to go to some certain places and let them know that okay you actually exist as a business by engaging with people drop constructive um constructive comments and like key into conversations the right way and i feel like if a business can be doing this trust me over time you're going to be growing the right set of audience and it's going to be easier selling to them because they are people of like minds True. unlike when you have the wrong set of people and you're trying to push out a, a product to them they really don't understand they can't relate with you so i feel that's another problem a lot of business um, small business owners have they don't know how to engage their target audience where they are some of them find themselves in wrong places trying to to get their customers there i see some people just drop some funny comments and i just laugh like your customers are not here like they can't see they this can't. they can't relate you understand so that's um that's another thing i would um i notice that business small business owners do okay so i mean this is quite interesting because i mean there's so many things that as a business owner as an entrepreneur in nigeria you don't know about growing your business on instagram or on different digital platforms and that's just the major reasons why people like you are obviously being able to help them out you know what i'm saying render a service that you love and you're also um, doing good for other people as well i think that's 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 pretty amazing and that's the opportunity that are there in the what they call it in digital marketing um one thing that you said that really really made a lot of sense to me is the fact that when you use the, the you're selling a baby product or you're selling a product that's supposed to be more attractive to mothers and that should guide the kind of platform you should go to exactly. and that's important because one of the ways to grow your uh, your instagram followers is either you follow other people and then they follow you back exactly. so you can easily go on on instagram pages of your competitors of of, of, mm -hmm. of, of uh, people following a mother brand like for example one of our students that run a platform called mompreneur mm -hmm. right go on such a platform engage on such a engage platform on such find a people that were people that are following are and also go back and, and follow them like their pages and obviously those things are a bit time consuming yeah but and it, i believe those are part of the things that yeah you can, that's that's that, those are part of the things that you do for people and um, you easily uh, you easily help them to to what they call it to do so we won't go too deep on that you know what i'm saying but what we're going to go into because i mean that's what you do for a living right now and so we'll go we'll go into the fact that okay so you you, you you're growing these large large numbers of followers or you're growing a small followership or you know the, the thing also is that i believe is that you don't have to have like ten thousand followers to be able to make sales on on instagram yeah right sure. you just probably need a, a couple of um, followers to be able to drive that particular sale so what i want to find out now is how do we actually convert these people that are following us so we go through a lot of stress trying to get people to follow us how do we turn those people into actual actual customers the logic to it is very simple good right, content awesome. there's no two ways about it mm. i always tell people what if i have the followers and then you don't even know how to engage them trust me somebody else who knows how to do it is going to actually take over the space from you so it's just about good content another problem i've realized small business owners have is lack of good pictures some of because i do promote businesses and there are some businesses even if they are willing to pay me millions i'm not going to push out the yeah, product because, because it, exactly it itself, exactly it doesn't sell itself and it makes work difficult for me because i do write my content myself for every 
for every advert I need to push out on somebody's behalf. If I have to write your content for you and the pictures don't even look appealing to me, I have issues with it and I know my audience will not like it. So I wouldn't push out something my audience will not like. So number one thing is content and content starts from the picture itself. And then aside the content, the, the intent of the way you actually talk about it, the description of it, not coming from the angle of um, you selling to them, but rather being playing around the right it the way you feel about the so picture basically trying to sub sell selling the product but not actually selling not actually the selling the product, product exactly yeah that. being social at the same time make people let them be able to relate with that product say things that they can relate to in respect to to that, that product works. so i feel that's like the the best way to to just market to your audience so so, so what you're trying to say is that selling the benefits yeah, yeah, selling the benefits you're trying to say that engaging in terms of content is very very important yes very and important when you are engaging with content you want to try to subsell and i think i've given this example before in one of the podcasts i did earlier on i, I think on traffic plan funnel uh, traffic plan and what i was trying to say was that you need to um, be able to look at a projector and be able to sell a projector without actually saying come and buy the projector so like yes. for example playing around the benefit of the projector or saying talking about oh this projector has this technology like this and this and this and as a result of that that's what we put in our own projector and everything like that and then you can now work on people and put a call to action inside it so one of the things i see a lot of businesses do wrong in terms of conversion is that they don't have any form of call to action so yeah. they don't get to tell people come and buy they don't they, they push a lot of content out but there's no content actually telling people to come and buy but i'm not trying to say as we've said earlier on it's no more of like come and buy come and buy come and buy it's more of like okay how can i play around the content and lead it to a sale so how can i talk about a particular product or a particular benefit of my service and mm-hmm. then lead it to a sale the good thing is that instagram kind of have like a lot of new features you have the instagram highlights some of them are not so new right or you have the instagram story you have the igtv you have the insta live and the different things that you can do with instagram right now i think a lot of businesses are not yet leveraging on those things right and I think there's a very huge opportunity inside it. I remember going through your Instagram page, um, service vendor, and I was quite interested and it almost sold me out. In fact, that I was probably going to say, Kafaya, uh, <laughs> come and help us to promote our our course as well because I saw a lot of you. You strategically used it. You put a lot of testimonials. You put like the key information that kind of like make people want to move to the next level with you and then most importantly I think when it comes to digital marketing the biggest issue is the fact that people don't have that physical engagement with your brand so trust is on a different level people don't trust you yeah. and I think using those tools kind of like made me feel like even though I knew you you get what I'm saying but if I was going to put myself in the shop someone that did not know you in the first place it kind of made me connect to want to to want to do business with you because I could see it was almost like I could see you inside out like I could see what you do inside out so I want to find out what can businesses do in such a way and I'm sure you learned all those things from us you must give us the glory for that right <laughs> um, so one thing is one thing is I want to I want you, I want to, you to talk about like what are the things that you feel businesses should how should you think they should leverage IGTV how do you think they should leverage yeah, Insta, Insta, uh, Insta Story, Insta Live. How do you think they should leverage their highlights and things like that? What do you think? How do you think they should go about it? Okay, so um, let's start from the from the old ones. Yeah. Let me put it that way. All Insta right. Story has been around for a while, yeah. which of course up to now a lot of people are still not using it. Mm-hmm. But one thing I've realized is the feed is so clustered these days that for every sixth post is, is an advert. Mm. It's an advert. So either if you're not running an advert, your chances of you, of you getting seen on your feed is even very hard. True. You understand? So you know, Insta Story as I, I would say it is helpful for me. I don't advertise on my page, but I do advertise my services on my Insta Story. I will not do a post naturally saying, "Okay, come and do this," mm. but I do advertise on my story, and my story actually gets it because. I see a lot of people check it, 228 people, 300 plus see my story and I'm like, okay, 
and when i usually only put people's products there of course if you're not some people are seeing your products on my story what if i put my own service there so that's like my own playground my insta story so i use it a lot for my i use it to push out my feedbacks my reviews and all that on my insta story that is where it goes so i think businesses need to they need to start using a lot of insta story to actually push out their products so, so, so. i know the good thing about it now is you don't even have to put a separate picture there you can easily share from your feed and it goes to your story yeah. which makes which makes it easy mm-hmm. unlike before that you'll be thinking oh after i finish posting well, and i need to go and post on it's very easy now so i feel businesses should actually leverage so, more so on basically your story you can now. kill two stones with exactly with, with one exactly one. you and post two, it on your two page. Beds with, with one, one stone, stone. Yeah. post it on your page and then you share it to your insta story and of course the people who don't get to come across your feed will definitely see it on your insta story and you still make you still make sales then in terms of the highlights i like i used to overlook it before but not until one day somebody actually you know sent me a message from a picture i had of my highlight mm. that was when i realized that okay that means some people just visit your profile for the first time and then did and next thing they, more about you and, and then they go to your highlight and of course the person saw one of my things that added to the highlight and sent me a message i knew that because the message was was an old post it was an old in, um, story which i added to my highlight and the person still sent me a message so of course you could have a lot of reviews and you know things that could actually sell you as a brand okay so, so put on your highlight so i think a good a good strategy would be to add uh, stories that perform very well exactly as your highlight because for it to have performed very well it means it resonated with a lot of people exactly and then put it as part of your highlight i also think that um okay so one thing you said initially is the fact that you, you you engage on your page you don't ask people to buy from you but you actually do that action on the island exactly and I on think, my story I, I think that's amazing that's amazing my story. Gonna, we're going to personally uh, what yes. they also experiment that internally um one thing that i that i that i think also is that i think the highlight would be a very good place for you to try to establish credibility so yes. as a business if you use your highlight to for things that would tell people what you offer and show people how people have experienced what you are yes, what you are yes. selling to them and things like that i think that would go a, um, a very very long way the kind of content so you can use testimonials videos you can give a lot of value up mm-hmm. front and things like that yes and then that allows people to want to feel um to feel um more uh, to kind of have more some connected. form of credibility feel more connected to your to your page and and see you as a as a credible um, brand that um, that you have um so another one of course in terms of the new high tv that just came out and all that even though of course i've not explored it yeah. but you know i can see the opportunities that if i am ready to explore it you know i've had this um this youtube thing on my mind mm. before you know but you know when you begin to think of okay when i set up a youtube page you know getting the old engagement on youtube and all that and of course i'm, I'm, I'm i want to actually gain my ground on on one platform yeah. first and then of course IGTV came so i'm looking at there, there are a lot of ways um, businesses can actually leverage on IGTV. you know there are times you want to show you see a lot of people do videos but you know because of the whole one minute thing you can't even express yourself you're sure. limited to you're limited to the kind of things you can actually do but now with the um with the long hours that you can actually long um timing which you can use on igtv it makes it easy for you to actually you know do like a step-by-step process of how to even use your product the other day i just opened my igtv and i saw a lady she taught us how to actually preserve meat she sells meat on it and you know it actually caught my attention because she videoed it from the beginning and because of that you probably would also exactly. assume that she knows how to preserve meat so exactly she so to buy meat from. you get it so of course it, it kind of caught my attention because she I actually learned from the video and of course she was somebody that's okay let me even ask if she could teach us this kind so you know when you begin to teach people things that's the essence of the IUTV. Mm-hmm. It makes everybody can now you know you cannot even be a how would i say let me put it there um, um, you cannot be a video <laughs> video Videos person things. even without you having any skills whatsoever so of course IGTV is a very good platform for you to actually show your back end and let people see the processes that you actually take in terms of bringing out these products for them because people do like to see okay what went what went down and all that it makes people want to trust you more so of course IGTV is a place for you to actually show yourself then in terms of live video 
for the live video for for me i feel live video is good in terms of building brand trust everybody likes to see who is behind the scene who actually owns this brand you know when people know that okay you can actually come out and you are confident to talk about your product they feel like okay yes if you know that means you know what you're selling nobody likes to buy from somebody who doesn't even actually know what you're selling so you need to be able to know your product mm. if you can come live and tell me okay this is this this particular thing these are the benefits i'm going to get from it you show us how to put it together i feel i should want to buy from which is one yeah, thing because, because, yeah because they can see your confidence like exactly your confidence exactly into, yeah exactly i bought a, a, um, well. the other day i bought a um a, a, a ring light for for video mm. that i wanted to use for myself the only reason i bought it was because i saw the way the lady assembled it in the live video so the idea of the live video was to show people how to actually assemble okay. because she's had a lot of customers and how it works and how it works, works and also you know she switched it on i saw the whole thing through the live and i, I was interested i bought it instantly so if people can you know there's a video is big in 2018 which of course i learned yeah. from you so of course if people can actually leverage on it on videos it's, it's a very good thing yeah so one like let me just say so there's a lady that one of our friends um she she does Insta, Instagram live and uh, live videos and she she just talks about like the different ingredients she sells natural products and she talks about the different ingredients and the benefits and need okay. and things like that and as a result of that she gets so many sales every week whenever she does it and things like that so I think um, Insta live goes a long way and the good thing also is that um, Instagram alerts your followers right yeah. Um, yeah. that you you just went live especially when they've not engaged with your page for a while for a so while. it actually allows you to reactivate people that are not actually engaging in your exactly. page and i also love what they're doing with igtv and i think that's the reason why igtv right now is at a prime stage where businesses must take advantage mm -hmm. of it and 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 that's and that's because when you look when you, when you approach um what they call it igtv for example as, um, for example once you upload your IG, your your video, your whatever video. it is, it automatically also alerts people because now there's not a lot of people using IGTV, mm -hmm. so your organic reach is going to be a lot higher, right? And a lot of people, and right now, Instagram is doing the work for you by alerting everybody that they okay. have. So when you whenever you go on your Instagram page, you see a, a small icon saying so so person just uploaded just an uploaded IGTV, an IGTV and things like that. So because of that, you you're probably going to get a lot of a lot of awareness at this early stage of mm. of 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 of, 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 um, of it of its launch, right? Yeah. And I think that's a very key aspect for businesses. And I believe one of the reasons why Instagram has also looked at how to increase a one-minute um, video um, limit that they gave initially to you almost having about 60 minutes. Although I believe yeah. that the 60 minutes is not for everybody <laughs> yet, but I think it's about 15 minutes or thereabout. That is majorly for a lot of people. Then later mm -hmm. on, they will gradually open it up to full 16, uh, 16, 16 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Now the thing there is, what in marketing, like what I've learned over in marketing is that it takes time for people to convert or to buy from you, and it requires that little commitment, right? And one of the two types of commitment that people can really make is either they give you money, it's small, they buy something small okay. uh, from you, or they spend time. With your product so they engage your product quite a couple of times mm -hmm. and that's why if you go to some platforms like amazon you see them trying to sell small products first of mm -hmm. all like really really low products so that people can initially make the initial make purchase commitment and the, then later on they'll probably they'll need sell to buy other something, things to them. something a lot more now the other strategy is to try to get people to spend little little time in your business and then that makes a lot of sense and that's the reason why the average sale happens after selling engagement yeah. right after about seven engagement so someone has to know about your brand engage you start depositing or making little little contributions and, and things like that so i think if someone can spend 60 minutes to watch your video on igt you're able to captivate and you are them. able to captivate that person you're almost 80 percent into an opportunity to be able to buy and that's the reason why webinars work a lot so webinar is another platform that really really does a lot when it comes to videos and the rest mm -hmm. of it because you're going to be on a webinar for about one hour one and a half hours and there's an opportunity once you can sacrifice that long um, dedicate that long hours to to that webinar it's easy for you to so what they call it give an offer and the person is going to want to make the 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 what they call it the, 
product basically uh you know of course there's even um there's now the video in the dm as well yeah so i feel that one is just to you know to limit the old scam thing yeah, and all true. that you know it's very easy for businesses to now okay somebody is telling me i woke up one day and i just saw one of my clients call me on on dm i'm like okay what's going on i remember okay my my instagram actually auto automatically updates itself mm. and of course she called me said she was just testing it i'm like wow this is this is another one yeah, so i feel I, that one is that to actually you know build them um, build um that that gap of um the trust issue mm. that a lot of people have because you know of course there are a lot of scammers online and all that yeah, so, so i think that's what the so, so that, that, that actually makes me talk about something one of the best way to actually like make sales mm -hmm. right it's through conversational selling so which basically means you end up conversations with people because mm -hmm. Traditionally, you do those conversations. Someone comes to your store, you get to talk to them. The person asks all the agitation questions. Mm -hmm. You give all the answers exactly. to them, and all those things like that. And I think when it now comes to platforms like Instagram, right? You you just communicating through chatting. Yeah, messaging. it might not just be enough. It might not just be enough. You can get up and a video call with your potential. And that's customer. I think Instagram doesn't that, want people to leave their platform. Yeah, they want you to sleep there. To do everything. There. Yeah, they want you to do everything there because if you if you realize that you know the people are used to um, most of all these um, um, video celebs, all these mm -hmm. the likes of Lassie C, mm -hmm. Maraji, and all that. Yeah. They all started from Instagram. True. Instagram was like the pushing factor for them to be able to build their page on YouTube. Yep. So I feel that's like why Instagram is coming up with all, all these things. So you just don't leave our platform. We want you to stay there. What? Because why would they ordinarily increase their their video length if they know that okay, because they know that a lot of people will still go on YouTube to go and watch the full version of this thing. And of course they realize that okay, maybe when you're talking to somebody over DM and all that, you after some you might want to send them to your WhatsApp and once you're sending them to your WhatsApp, you're already getting more personal they still want everything to go on, so on their platform so that's can, yeah i feel that's like the essence of the video in the dm too as well yeah that, so, that actually makes a lot of sense so you can actually encourage your 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 followers to dm you yeah exactly for, for, mm -hmm. for a video call yep. do i've never tried to um the number of um timing the timing that you can actually use the that you can stay on the phone I, yeah I, I would believe that there's, there's no there's no limit to how long you can stay on the video call. I would want okay, to, I, would, I want I would, to believe that. I want to believe that. I want to believe that because uh, I mean, I, I because like, for I, live video is one hour. After one, um, after one hour, they cut the person off, but, irrespective of what you're doing. Well, from what I know, I don't think there's a limit in it. You get what I'm saying? But it might be what's going to go and verify. Mm -hmm, yeah. It might be what's going to go and verify. I think that's a very, very good um, initiative mm -hmm. because at least you can be used to do like personal. Maybe personal teachings and all those kind of mm -hmm. things. Yeah. yeah, true, true. And most brand, like you said, it, it's just for credibility, for trust sake, mm -hmm. to just gain the confidence of the customer. You can easily just go straight. Someone DMs you and says, oh, I like this particular product. Mm -hmm. You can just do a video call, show the person the product physically, the product physically via so. the, the video live yeah. call, and then the person shows more interest and you close the deal basically. Close and I think that, I think that's that's practically very very um, very very good and, and all. So um, to round up the what they call it the podcast, right? Would you like to share anything with uh, the audience listening to this right now? To in terms of anything particular that you think that would be a very very good um, nugget for them to use when trying to do anything on Instagram in order to be able to drive good good opportunities. Um, another um, thing a lot of people don't use is actually DM marketing. Yeah. There's, there's actually there's DM marketing, which of course a lot of people don't they don't do it. Okay. I do that a lot when I when I do a very good content and I know that okay yes my my audience are going to like it. I send it to them in their DM. I take that extra time to, to, to send it to, to alert them. So instead of me running adverts and all those things, because I know some of them might not see that, but I want them to see it mm. immediately within the first one hour, because that's the that, because engagement gotten between the first one hour is what Instagram counts as an engagement, and of course it continues showing yeah, throughout the whole. Life, yeah, it keeps life showing it throughout the whole end of the day. So of course I'm I want people to see it within that period. So of course I take the extra time of sending it to their DM. So it's more or less like I deliver it to them, and of course it makes most of them come to come to you. Come to you. In in the case of you selling a product, you might not necessarily even send the product to them because of course people might actually mute you, block you. What 
what I would advise businesses to do in that situation is try to build a relationship. There's this particular lady, she sends me messages, she just checks up on me. And of course, you know, after like two checks, and I have to take a look at her page. Okay, what's she selling? Let me even look. And you know, I bought from her because I felt that she was trying to build a relationship, a relationship with me. She does so, you know, she just sends a message to me. Hello, how are you doing today? How's the week going? The very first time I, I didn't I didn't respond to her. I'm like, what's this? I don't know you. I ignored. But you know, the second time she gets just checking up on you, I'm like, okay. I, I so, she so, didn't sell to so, me. So, so what you're trying to say is that one can specifically look at some of their audience. Yeah, exactly. And be able to pinpoint people that are people that might be more or less yeah, interested exactly. based on their yeah, engagement. You, know, you, you take time, time to send them messages just to check up on them. Interesting. And you know, in that you see some of them would actually respond back to you. Some of them will respond back to you. And another thing is, I've realized that a lot of businesses don't. Some of them, most of them don't even run adverts. Interesting. Or maybe those that even run adverts don't know how to use it. Which is what I always tell Michael. When you're running an advert, it's not a time for you to sleep. Everybody who follows you is a potential customer. Exactly. Take the extra amount to actually market to them. Interesting. So I feel just with this so, few so, things. So, so, things so, so, so what you're trying to say is that when you're running adverts, it's the time to even be more active. On exactly. Your page be more like active that. on your page. That's that. So that, that takes me to just ask this question: Is um, I mean, how long do you think someone should um, post in a day? Should you, should you do like, because I know quite a lot of people are more worried about, oh, my followers will not like if I'm posting or I'm flooding their wall and other things like that. But how long do you think, how, how many times do you think people should post per day? Okay, so um, what I've come to realize over time is the more posts, the more impressions. Okay, interesting. Yeah, the more posts, the more impressions. And because I took a um, particular month and I tried to actually monitor the, the month I posted a lot of pictures, my impressions went really high. Mm. Then the month I didn't post a lot of pictures, my, my impressions went low. Okay. So in terms of um, don't annoy your audience, that's that's just the basic thing. Mm. No particular the time timing to it. And people can also try it for their business yeah. and see which one actually works the most for them and all I, I think that's very very good i mean we've given so much value today i believe as much and i, I, yeah. I know that people listening are also have also really really benefited from it um one thing i want to say is that if anybody is interested in let's say for example instagram marketing or whatever how do they get to how they get to you and and all yeah you can actually just you can send me a, a dm or click the link in my bio on instagram at service vendors and of course i'll definitely respond to you i run facebook ads i run instagram ads i do future posts and of course i i do content calendars for people who don't know how to they don't know the content to actually do in terms of their post i do all that as well and of course i do um yeah a bit of everything <laughs> Of course, anything that has to do with Instagram anything marketing. Anything that has to do with so, so basically, it's social media generally. So let me put it that so way. So basically, you are you are an expert when it comes to Instagram. Everything Instagram. Not only Instagram, you, of course. And, I do other aspects. I mean, I guess, I guess that's we, just my. I, I guess we would also still would also have to engage um, some of your service very soon. <laughs> yeah. And, and oh, so that's quite interesting. And I mean, I'm always happy when I see people that attend our training. Um, doing something with it. I tell people yeah. that there's so many opportunities in digital marketing. A lot of opportunities. Um, everything you learn and the course in our training, we, we show you how to monetize it. We tell you the different opportunities and needs. I think that has really like helped that. me a lot. And, and and so it's all it takes is just for you to go ahead, implement, and make as much money as you as you as you can make. We even go as far as I mean showcasing your business as well. But most importantly is. Um, I always like to get uh, 10 percent of uh, <laughs> of it. I'm just joking. So, so but anyways, the whole idea is you should um, what do you call it? Take your time to go through our course page, um, learn more about what we do, and I can tell you that um, you don't want to miss the next training. Yeah. And be part of it. The earlier you take the training, the more you can, the more you can make um, money fast. The more you can achieve results in your business. The more you can start an agency and charge clients for it. As you can see from what she said. There are quite a lot of people that are out there that are trying to do um, what they call it. That they are running businesses, but they are really, really struggling when it comes to Instagram, struggling when it comes to Facebook, struggling when it comes to different digital marketing channels, struggling when it comes to advertising, to getting their website to rank, even to building website. And these are all these things is what we teach you in the training. And 
because of that you can easily offer this service to these people now the most important thing is not just going to one training and going to go and learn these things and think you're going to succeed the most important thing is for you not to get fired for you to be able to drive your result like kafayat is doing you need to be able to learn it from the right set of people and get the right knowledge and get the right support as well and that is all we give to you we give you one year support that you know that you are we, we always have your backing and your success is almost guaranteed as far as you implement um, what we train you and what, what, what whatever we tell you to do so i look forward to the next podcast and i look forward to you joining make sure you don't forget to subscribe and also like and share this with your friends family and everyone that you think this would be a blessing to I believe there's so many business nuggets, there's so many business ideas, so many tips that, that, are, that we've discussed that you can implement. We've had so many testimonies from different people that have listened to one or two of our podcasts and they've done what we've told them in the podcast and they've achieved great success. We have we've had people that have doubled their sales, tripled their sales just as a result of listening to our podcast and we've had people that are doing so well right now. And I can tell you that all you need to do is implement and be a blessing to somebody and make sure you share it. And make sure you don't forget to hit the, the bell button because you don't want to miss the next uh, podcast we are going to make. It's going to be impactful and we're going to be doing this quite often. So you want to get the alert whenever it's out. So-